In this video, I would like to explain to you why a new aquarium needs to be cycled and what it actually is that you're doing when you're waiting six weeks before you can put fish in your new aquarium. So let's jump straight in. Cycling an aquarium basically means that you're preparing a new aquarium uh, for your fish. The aquarium is going to be the environment of your future fish. And obviously it needs to be safe for them to live in. And that's kind of difficult when the fish that are going to be living in the aquarium are producing ammonia through their waste. And ammonia is toxic to fish in low concentrations. So if you just put in fish in a new aquarium, uh, they will start to produce ammonia. And if nothing's there, uh, no system is in place to remove that ammonia from the tank, uh, your fish will eventually die. And that's why an aquarium needs to be cycled because during this cycling period, which takes between four to six weeks, um, beneficial bacteria start to grow in your aquarium. And these bacteria primarily live uh, in your filter, in the filter media. So besides uh, trapping floating particles out of your water, uh, the filter has a very important role because most of the uh, biological filtration, that's what people always mean when they say biological filtration, uh, all those bacteria are housed in there. Obviously, uh, these bacteria are also housed in the substrate, uh, but also on rocks, plants, and even the glass. But the big chunk of it is in your filter. And that's why um, you need to cycle your filter. The first round of beneficial, beneficial bacteria consume ammonia and produce nitrite. And ammonia is toxic in low concentrations, uh, in very low concentrations. It's stressful, your fish uh, experience stress, and if the stress becomes too much, they will actually die. So the ammonia is transferred or transformed into nitrite with an I. And nitrite is still toxic to fish, just a little bit less toxic, but it's still too toxic for the fish to live in uh, if it's present in rather low concentrations. And that's why there's another set of beneficial bacteria that transforms the nitrite with an I to the nitrate with an A. I will make sure to add the names in the screen, so that will help you a little bit. So basically, the beneficial bacteria need to grow and they eat ammonia. So um, that's why if you're cycling an aquarium, there needs to be a source of ammonia present. And if there's no ammonia present while cycling your aquarium, uh, then the beneficial bacteria have nothing to eat, they won't grow, and after four to six weeks, you're still left with uh, an aquarium that has insufficient capacities to battle the ammonia that will be produced by the biological load uh, of your fish. In the past, and now I'm talking about uh, my grandfather, for example, during the time that he was keeping fish, um, it was normal to add fish to an aquarium that was cycling. So you would add hardy fish, for example, some guppies or other fish that are, are, were considered cheap, and you would add those to the uncycled aquarium as a source of ammonia. And while often it worked, it's not very pet friendly because those fish that were used to start the cycle um, experienced stress due to the produced ammonia that they produced themselves. But there was nothing in the tank that could break down the ammonia because that was still growing. So instead what you can do uh, is a fishless cycle. And this fishless cycle is all over the internet. That's the norm for what we do as fish keepers um, during this day and age. So what you can do is you can use two methods. There's adding ammonia to your water. Uh, this is possible because you can calculate how much ammonia you should add to your aquarium to reach a certain uh, concentration. Um, I've never used this method, but it's a very reliable method because you can control the concentration of ammonia and you can use um, water testing kits to measure the ammonia and you will see that the ammonia 
over time will decrease because the beneficial bacteria are transforming it all the way to nitrate. The other way that I uh, often do is I add a little bit of fish food and this fish food will start to rot in your aquarium and the rotting fish food is another source of ammonia. That's also why it's, as a complete side note, that's also why it's very important that you don't overfeed because all the uneaten food uh, will start to rot, produce ammonia, and then your aquarium is prone to an ammonia spike. Let's dive a little bit more into that because uh, as a small recap, uh, if you want to cycle an aquarium, you need some ammonia because the growing colony of beneficial bacteria consumes ammonia, transfers it into nitrite, and then first, and then uh, in the end into nitrate. And this is called the nitrogen cycle. So what's an ammonia spike? Because this is something that in unestablished aquaria, um, it's possible that you will encounter, encounter this. Now, an ammonia spike is when something in your aquarium produces so much ammonia that the colony of beneficial bacteria that has, has been established in your aquarium, in your filter primarily, cannot handle uh, the amount of ammonia. And in this case, there's so much ammonia that your tank can't handle it and your fish will experience stress. And if you're unlucky, then your fish might even die. So that's why you want to keep ammonia to a minimum. People often ask if you can speed up this cycling process. And there are a lot of products on the market uh, that claim that they can. Uh, for example, bacteria starters or live bacteria, stuff like that. And often it's a liquid that you add to your water column. And while that's uh, true, those uh, products do contain the bacteria needed to break down ammonia. Um, it's uh, difficult to say whether it actually speeds up the cycling process because growing a colony of bacteria in your filter takes time. However, there are other ways and there's one reliable way to speed up the cycling process and that's by adding already cycled filter media to your filter and the way to do that is if you've got one aquarium running and you want to start another then there might be and there might be, then there's possibly uh, a lot of cycled media in one of your filters and you can remove some of that media, uh, add it to your new tank, and it will act as a kickstart way or, or as a way to kickstart the growth of the bacteria in a new aquarium. Then there's another common misconception, and that's that the water of an aquarium is cycled. Uh, I've seen this a lot in Facebook groups that I'm part of, and this simply is not the case. And what I see then, or what I read, is people adding water from one aquarium into another uncycled new aquarium to uh, speed up the cycle. But the bacteria are not in your water. There might be, of, of course, there are some of the bacteria in there, but the bulk, bulk <laughs> really is growing in your filter or in your substrate. So that doesn't work. So now you know exactly how to cycle an aquarium and you also understand why it's important and you cannot rush this process. Um, adding fish to an uncycled aquarium is just cruel because there's nothing in place to reduce the concentration of ammonia and the fish in there will gradually uh, let it rise. Uh, another tip for you is once your, your tank is cycled, don't add a lot of fish at the same time or at once. Um, gradually build up uh, the amount of fish that you're keeping. So if you want to keep... Um, a school of fish and centerpiece fish and algae eaters and shrimp and snails, start with uh, just the, uh, the, the schooling fish or just the shrimp or just the algae eaters um, to build up and make your tank more resistant to the biological load. Um, that's it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've got any questions, comment them down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.